Welcome to a standalone episode. This is not part of the regular Rocky Mountain Gladiator season. This is a little tutorial I wanted to put together. A couple people asked me uh, for some help in terms of tournaments and how can they get packs without having to pay for them with real cash. And I'll give you a few tips that I use and feel free to use them, to copy them, and to build your lineup in tournaments to help get some of those free packs. If you're watching my regular series, you'll notice that I always seem to have packs that I open up. I don't buy them with real money. I get them from tournaments. I play iron tournaments. I play bronze tournaments, specifically the ace of bronze or the ace of iron. So I'm going to run through an ace of bronze tournament that finished recently and I'll show you some of the tips and the lineup that I use to help achieve those packs. The great thing is that once you build the lineup, you can kind of just keep it and just keep spamming the tournaments, keep entering it tournament after tournament. And I find that out of every 10 tournaments, I will get packs in at least three out of every 10, which might not sound great, but it really is because when you get first place, you get 10 standard packs. Second gets you five. Third or fourth gets you three. So if I'm getting nine packs out of every 10 tournaments, or I'm getting 15 packs out of every 10 tournaments, that's, that's pretty good. So this tournament here, I finished in the semifinals. I lost out. So I won three packs. We'll take a look at the lineup I had. We'll take a look at the finalist lineups and we'll just see how they compare. Pitching wise, these are the guys that I use and I've used for a couple weeks now. Nip Winters, Larry Christensen, Slim Love, Aaron Harang, and Joe Gibbons in my five-man rotation. In the bullpen, I run Wayne Twitchell as the stopper. I find a lot of teams use him. And then you see my middle relief, and I've got Bob Moncrief as my long reliever. It's good to have one long reliever, one stopper. Some teams will have all middle relief guys. You'll find too that the ERA of your pitchers tend to be really high. Don't expect a 2.5 or a 3.2 ERA. Nip Winters did really well this tournament, five and one. Let's take a look at the winning team, the New York Knights. Notice their lineup compared to my lineup. You see some similarities? I do. Some differences, they do have Wayne Twitchell, but in a middle relief role, they're not specializing any of their bullpen guys. And they do run a five-man rotation as well. Second place, the Sloths. Look at their lineup. Look at my lineup. A lot of similarities. They do not have Wayne Twitchell, but they have Nip Winters in the bullpen rather than as a starter. So you're not going to have every team exactly the same. And there may be some tournaments the Sloths come first. There may be some that they don't place at all. This time they came second, so they won five packs. Let's look at the hitters. These are the guys that I use that I find are successful. Joe Morgan leading off. Joe Morgan is a great leadoff guy. If you don't have him, go get him. What's he running for on the card shop right now? 200. You'll get that back very quickly. He is a must have in your bronze ace tournaments and put him in the leadoff. Otis, Amos Otis, really good speed. He hit 250 for me average wise, but he had a few stolen bases. Where's his stolen bases for? Chipper Jones, a lot of teams will have Chipper Jones. Taffy Wright is, some teams have him, some don't. I like this guy. 394 he hit for me, he can play pretty much anywhere in the outfield. Great defense. Bill Mueller is a guy that I use in the regular 
schemes as well. I had them in bronze. I had them in silver. I had them in the uh, iron levels. Great card. Good to use in these tournaments as well. I do have a couple specialty players, which might be a little tougher to get. L Dark, I really like. He hit 394 in this tournament. That's fantastic. He's cheap on the card shop as well. He's a platinum card, but you can get him for 85 perfect points. Run out and get him now. Because platinum cards after two months, they're not in packs anymore. So I would get one and just kind of keep it in the bank. The other specialty card you're not going to find as easily or as cheaply. But I like Davy Force. I picked him up. He hit 370 in this tournament. But on the card shop, you won't get him for under 60,000. That is a very expensive card. And there's someone out there willing to pay 50,000 for him. So there's another user that sees the value and they're likely wanting him to use him in these tournaments. There are many other shortstops you can use. Frank Mantilla is another really good card that you can use at shortstop. In fact, you can use him all throughout your lineup. A lot of teams will have him as well. Let's take a look at the winning team. Where are the New York Knights? There they are. Compare these guys to my guys. A lot of similarities. Both of us have Joe Morgan hitting leadoff against the righties. Let's look at the sloths that came second. Look at those similarities. Both of us have Morgan and Otis first and second. Both of us have Petaway or Petway and Kendall as the tandem catchers. So you're going to find that when you enter these tournaments, you're going to find a lot of teams with similar players. They kind of copy each other. And why not? Enter a tournament, even if you don't win, go back to the tournament after, you can do that, and check out how the winning teams did. And if you don't know how to check out your results, it's pretty easy. Click on Show Traditional Tournaments. Click on Your Tournaments. Go to whatever tournament was. In this case, it's a bronze tournament. And all the tournaments you have participated in should be there. You can see all the Ace of Bronze that I've played in. And about 3 out of 10, I will earn some packs. Once again, you're allowed to enter three of these. So when you go to your main menu, three tournaments, two perfect tournaments, click on Show Traditional, go to Bronze or Lower, look for Ace of Bronze, and click Sign Up. It's as easy as that. Once you do that, wait for it to finish out. Go back and check out how you did, and go and enter into it and see how all the other teams did. So I'll just randomly pick one here. We'll go into examine. And once it loads up, you can click on the results. Here I came, I lost out in the quarterfinal, so I didn't quite make the pack round, but I won the first two rounds. Trash Pandas, they were the winning team. Let's take a look at Rocket City. There we go. Familiar names compared to what I ran. Look at their hitters. Rocket City. Familiar names. Yes, a few different players, but it's all hit and miss. All 32 teams could run the exact same lineup and you're going to have different winners at different times. But if you have similar players to these teams, there will be the odd time the random talent generator will kick in and you will come out victorious and you will be that team on top and get the 10 free packs. Hope that helped, guys. If you want me to do a silver or an iron 
tournament as well. I can kind of show you who the players are there that you can have some success with. Otherwise, try them out, experiment, see what works. Look at other teams, see what they use. Please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future notifications. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my regular series as well. Currently, our gladiators are in the gold division trying to make the playoffs. Come cheer us on. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. It is a great day for baseball. Even if it's tournament baseball, it's a great day. We'll see you guys next episode.